Now that we've created our first project estimate, it's time to go ahead and turn that estimate into an invoice once we've completed the project. So I'm here in the estimates section and I'm in the subsection that's also called estimates. And we can see this is right where we left off in the last video. I have my estimate listed down here at the bottom. To turn this into an invoice, it's very simple. All I need to do is hit the checkbox next to this estimate. And then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to hit convert to invoice. Now before I do that, I want you to also notice that there's also this accept button here. I mentioned in the last video that when you send an estimate to a client, they have the opportunity to view that estimate and actually approve it themselves. However, you might have some clients where you send them the estimate and then they give you a call on the phone and they say, hey, everything looks good, let's rock and roll. But they didn't actually approve the estimate online. You can go ahead and you can hit accept right here if the client verbally accepted the estimate or in a way where they didn't actually hit the accept button in FreshBooks. So if we hit that, you'll notice that the status is now turned to accepted. So I'm going to hit the checkbox again and we're going to go ahead and convert this to an invoice. So I select that option and you'll notice that a pop-up appears and it asks us, is this a one-time invoice or is this reoccurring? For this particular example, we'll just say this is a one-time invoice. And you'll notice that it's pretty thorough. It pretty much does everything for you. It creates this invoice. It adds the next invoice number available. You have the option to choose whether you want them to pay by PayPal or not. We can see here's our line item that we entered in the estimate. And I can go ahead and I could save this as a draft or send it by email like we did earlier in this video series when we created an invoice. So it's almost a seamless transition in FreshBooks to go from an estimate to an invoice. So it almost, you know, creating an estimate really gives the client a better idea of what you're going to be doing on a project. It gives you a better idea once you actually list things out in the line items of what is going to be involved in doing a project. And you don't have to feel like you're wasting time by creating an estimate because you're really just creating your invoice beforehand. But it gives you just a little bit more visibility as to what's going on with all of your projects and it does so for your client as well. So it's definitely a great idea and it saves time in the long run. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to save this as a draft.